Hi everybody and welcome back to Terra Firma Craft Season 5 Episode 69 of oh, This is with me Sid and on this evening which is ironically for me Halloween evening um, we are starting this episode with the full moon rising over our heads and uh, it's very bright and uh, we've got a few few friendly fellas who uh, appear to want to come and have a little chat with us so uh, who am I to disillusion them? Oh, tough guy. Wow, he was he was a hard one. Uh hard but oddly unspecial zombie. Uh yeah. So <laughs> easily distracted, that's my problem. Um we uh, last episode started working well we came back we got some nickel and we came back and we made nickel ingots and we got some steel ingots and we got some black bronze ingots black bronze ingots of course being made from silver ingots uh with gold and other things and we got some spare black bronze as well so that's all good um but long story short we got a whole load of steel and we needed some more pig iron um so to process that we need to alloy those three items together in this but this is currently trying to make me pig iron and it's going very slowly because this thing is virtually empty and there's nothing happening it's just basically as fast as this can go it's doing um so we really, 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 really need to give ourselves some more juice. And I think the best way to do this is going to be the watermill. Um, we've got space back here. We can stick a, uh, uh, a thing there. We can stick a thing on the back. We can put a thing in the back here. We can start the water wheel going around. That will generate as water. It won't be exactly cannon because obviously there's no water. The water's just kind of coming out of thin air. But that's where we need to be. Um, and that will hopefully generate us more power. We've got no way to, I mean, my first thoughts were to upgrade those sails, but you know, as you know, we 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 went through and wove everything we had and, and didn't even come close to having enough for, for more than maybe two and a bit of the eight sails we need so that is not going to happen anytime soon so the answer to this one is therefore going to be um, water wheels while we wait for another half of the answer to actually present itself which is um, over in those trees uh, we used a crook a bone crook specifically and the bone crook gave us access to boink boink Go wow wow there's a lot of uh, friends over here what we got creepy creepers well we had creepy creepers we no longer have creepy creepers Spidey spiders. More spidey spiders. Uh, so over here, uh, and incidentally someone pointed out, which I forgot to mention it, I did notice but I didn't mention it, is that the spawner does indeed appear underneath where the sapling is. So useful to know. However, we have got going on up here How have we got going on here? Are they dying? That is not working. Damn you. <sighs> okay. Fine. I thought we had got ourselves an absolutely perfect source of uh, string. But it ain't working. Damn. <laughs> yeah, we got silkworms and I put them in them trees and they're they're just basically not working. 
Okay. Well, it doesn't matter. We've still got the um, the uh, you know plan A to go back to, which was the water wheels, and uh, and obviously we've still got those, and we can expand those out and get lots of stuff that way. But right now we need to do water wheels. Water wheels. Water wheels are obviously going to use a lot of this, which I did pre-stage in these, and uh, there should be some of those as well. Um, we can put some more in should we need to, but let's have a look. What do we actually need for a water wheel? We need to make four of those and those are those so let me just uh, like that and then just do that that will give me four that's another four and that's another four excellent and then we take those and they go around four of those, three of those in fact. That gives me three of those things which we can then go and throw that, that and that away. And, and I think we can, I don't think we actually need to, there. So we get an idea for how big these things are, which you know we know if you've clever played with immersive engineering you know how big they are, but they are one, two, three, four, five by five. Perfect. So, armed with that knowledge, we can actually start planning how we want to place these onto this back wall section. Um, so, we'll take we we'll take you away. We'll stick you over there, and then we shall come in here. I think this is probably the easiest way of doing it. And if I want a five by five, and say we want to center it on this block here, that goes one, two one two and uh, one two one two so what we need to do is we need to build a means of do I want to center it on there or do I want to come down hang on a second let me just have a think that's one two that would be three this would be the middle so I want to make this one the middle block yeah so we need to center it and it will come down to that layer there because I need to kind of scoop the water around from where we're going so we're going to need some blocks to do that and uh, I'm not entirely sure which ones to do it with let me just put that there out of the way keep it keep my inventory reasonably clean which is an oddity for me in itself right 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 think 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 mm. blocks wooden uh probably great wood would seem to be the one we have an abundance of so let's see what we can see shall we uh we should have great wood slabs we've got great wood blocks and we've actually got a lot of this we could go there uh, have we got enough, or do we do we do a mixture? Uh, maybe. <laughs> I kind of I'm torn. I'm torn. I'm going to mix it up a little bit. We'll use some of you, and we'll take those as well. Right. Let's have a look at what we can do. Um. I say this is going to look a bit weird, but. I really can't think of a way to do this and keep it in keeping with the things because these as these cables lose power so even if I were to go over to there and come up with a credible water wheel and then transmit the power across it would be lossy plus a pain to get the power across now we can potentially go and do this a little bit more properly because you know again even even going over uh, there just into that point so there's a fair old distance you know you're looking at what four chunks i think you're going to lose a fair amount of power if you did that so yeah we're going to we're not going to go there we're going to go with let's have a look. so this is the middle that's one that's two that's three there 
and then we're going to have one two at that side and one two at that side and then this will be three wide uh, and if I were to just put this in here for a second and then grab our hmm yeah that's that should work I mean that is is for all intents and purposes right the water is going to flow down there I'm just trying to think if I can can I get in there I can't ah so used to doing these when I've got flight and stuff it's um it's a bit of a oh hang on that's not going to work uh, let me just try see what happens when I stand on the top here no do I need to have it one bigger the answer is I don't know by the way let's go back to there and uh, well we're getting I'm kind of getting somewhere I need to go and get my bucket and some water so we can try it out and uh, we'll see what we get to do my bucket should be over here somewhere okay it's not there where have I put my bucket <laughs> Let me go and find my bucket. I'll be back in a second. It was in my inventory all along, with water in it actually as well. Okay, this will give us an opportunity to just try it out and make sure that the damn thing rotates. Um, so we'll go back in here. We shall stick a little bit of you back there. We'll grab some of you and place you there. We'll come up here. And we shall place our water source block there. No, nope. how about there? No. Nope. Hmm. Let's take it up a block. Just make sure that I'm not being impossibly dense here. Oh, well, I didn't want to. So that is now definitely free uh, free to spin hmm maybe it can only spin when it's on a dynamo that's the uh, right how do I I suppose I'll have to make the dynamo then won't I um, Okay, well, that's where we're going to have to go next then. We're going to have to head over and make the kinetic dynamo. And, uh, well, let me get that started and I'll be back with you in a second. All right, first thing we need, eight copper sheets, which is, uh, sorry, four copper sheets, which is eight copper ingots. So we're going to have to heat these up. Um, we we do need to be careful because copper melts very, very low temperature. So I can't just put them all in at once. What we're going to end up doing is basically heating some to the point where they get to, say, red hot, stick two more in, and then fuse these into a sheet and then do the next two and keep it rotating. That will give me everything we need to make those and then we just need to make one of those and that is pretty much it. Uh, exactly what we did for the windmill. Uh, we have got these process at some point as well but yeah so it's the same thing as that and uh, once we've got that then we can start to build the structure in onto the side of the building. Now what what I will do is then try and make that structure make some sense on the side of the building. It's not going to look perfect, but it's it's what we got. So yeah, there's a, got a faint red going there, so we'll get a couple of those in. Um, so I'll get these sheets done, 
and again I shall be back in a moment all right got that four sheets of copper which means that we now have the means to make uh, one two and those I think that's all we needed to make four so that's those done something going wrong there I love modded Minecraft <laughs> you can't beat it a uh, couple of blobs of redstone and some iron and we should be good to put in a kinetic dynamo uh, wrought iron one two three four you know it's, it's bizarre because in any other game would be sat there and come oh, let me just get away from that crackling the couple of wrought iron in any other game would be absolutely no problem but in this one completely different story terra firma craft makes all of the uh, it's it's one of the few mod, uh, mods that I've found where they've made resource scarcity a a thing which is um, not a not the bad thing if you like. We're gonna have to swim around now. So the, that's definitely going to be like that. Uh, and then what we'll do is we'll. We need to do something down here. This is a this is where it gets interesting. So let us come in either side like that. And then let's in fact let's just do the same here. I'm really torn between actually no, I am I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it to this white wood. I might even take out some of this wall and some of this wall but leave the glass in. Uh, and use this stuff because we've we've got it this towers about anyway so it's not like we can't always get more um, although I've just kind of screwed myself haven't I uh, but we we can definitely get this coming like that um, yeah, I'm very tempted to replace all of this and all of that and pull this section out. Um, and then maybe put some supports in here. I may actually do the water on uh, this. Uh, oh, I don't know. It's, it's awkward. It doesn't really fit the model I've got, but it is what it is let's keep on put let's keep pushing uh at this particular solution now i'm not going to say this is the right solution but i'll keep pushing at it i actually noticed recently a tendency in myself um to to become fixated on a a solution um and i've noticed it before about myself you know, me for example, earlier in the season when I was fixated on doing bismuth bronze and yet had all of the makings of bronze and for that matter black bronze. Um, but I I had got myself locked in in a mental kind of way into thinking to do something a certain way. And because I got myself locked in that way, I was struggling to step back from that and and see it from a different direction um and that's a trait that you know i'm i'm not overly fond of in myself but you know it's, it's a trait i've got i'm kind of stuck with it so that's um a thing uh right oh damn you come here you so do i want to take this out i think we should I know it was a pain putting them all in, but certainly those five. Let's take this out of the out there. The other problem is that this 
is where the power cable is so we may actually have to I don't know shuffle everything over and move things around we'll work it out it, it really isn't a problem um, especially not if we uh, we can do it. we can work it we, how are you doing actually that's actually done so it's not too bad uh, right so if I go and take these out as well I don't know whether to do that or not, you know. I mean, we can... There's no point to leaving them in. So, yeah, it's probably easier just to do this. Oh, damn you. Then I want the water to flow over this side. And it's got to go underneath, but I think I may need to drop this. I'm not sure yet. Good old immersive engineering and its bizarre structures, eh? Uh, but unfortunately, we've got enough to be going on with. Uh, how do I get down to there? <laughs> yeah, that's uh, an issue. Hmm. Let me come down a wee bit. Uh, I'm going to have to go and grab those. I've, I haven't got that much that I can waste it. Uh, okay, take that out. Pop the wheels in. One, two, three. And how do I handle this? Oops. All I want to do is come up with a way of getting up to the top fairly easily. Because what we need to do then is uh, hmm, damn you! Right, I need to get that out as well. Uh, it's never ending. This is probably not going to be easy. Right, and we can get you a review for a while, I think, as well. Uh, and then this can come under like that. We can get up that way. Excellent. Uh, because we need to come out this way like that. Um, for that matter, therefore, we probably want to take those two blocks out there. Yeah, on... Um, on the more modern versions of that, that would rotate when you stand on it, so that's the thing. Right, and then you come down here, grab some more, and then come down here, grab some more, and then that should, oh, hello. Should go that way. Uh, we definitely need to do that. So that's got the water flowing over the top. Right, hang on a second. That probably works better. God, this is going to take some effort to mask in here, I think. 
Um, yeah, you see what we've got here is that this is is two Uh, yeah, we need to come out that way a bit and down a bit, I think. Okay, that's going to be entertaining. But not a problem, we can do it. It just takes a bit of effort. <laughs> right, so if I want to bring this all the way down... Uh, Damn you. Yeah, that's uh, that's problematic. Um, hmm. <laughs> okay, I need to work out some materials here because this is not going to play ball. Uh, let me have a little wiggle around and I'll see what I can come up with. I'll be back in a moment. All right, well... We got this on here. <laughs> it took some doing. Um, it's flowing. We've put a couple of candles on just to keep it lit. And I've added a couple of support columns on to the end just to kind of give it some credibility as a structure hanging on the side here. Um, in the end, I went with the stone because it just blended in so much better. Um, the only thing left to do is to try and hook that up into the power system and then we can move on and try and get our black steel done which uh, obviously is the the aim of all of this now what i'm not sure is whether i can uh, i can rotate it but that's about it i can obviously place that there and i can pl uh, i can place that there actually and if i go and make you an input then maybe that will work yes it does that's now getting a sizable amount of juice actually 143 rf per tick which is very respectable uh yeah uh, that is not doing badly at all um now, it's debatable whether we should change these out to be more of that white wood again, but and, and bring that back in line. And I could certainly do it, but it's certainly doable. But that will go a long way to helping with making this stuff this happen now. So what we next we need to do is we need to make the weak steel. Now I don't know whether can I place pig iron. Yes, I can. Okay, there's our eight. So we need those. Those. And those. Um, and I need to just lose that um, great wood. Boop. Boop. We can also lose that. Why have I still got a raw time pick on me? makes no sense okay uh, and uh, da, 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 I want to take a few bits of that so let's see if we can't make, as I say make some sense out of this thing and it should be all small spawn proof over there so hopefully that will uh, help as well I'm just thinking what we'll do to start off with is uh, Did that? It didn't affect it. Excellent. No, that's the wrong tool. That just kind of keeps it making, making, you know, sense in that direction. Right. So we need eight steel, eight black bronze, eight nickel, and that is off. So that is making weak steel. We then have to weld that to the pig iron that we've got over there to make the lac steel. Uh, I'm trying to think why I'm making eight. 
I've got sneak. Uh, this makes. You know what? I'll worry about that later. I can always make more pig iron. That's not a problem. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to overthink these things, but that is actually keeping up 100 RF, and that is actually going to keep up, I think, now. That is incredible. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting it to drain, but, you know not quite so fast okay well I'm gonna let that in fact we shouldn't be far off let's just watch this one finish because I think I've got a sneaky suspicion that this makes four weak steel I think and I think I am missing yeah I've I've screwed up on the amount of pig iron I need. I definitely need more pig iron. Um, I need another eight because I, I think this makes 16. This this particular in, uh, recipe will make us 16 weak steel. To find out, I think it makes four. Bang, it does. So we're definitely going to need to do another eight pig iron um, before we can make the uh, anvil for the black steel. Right, well, while that is going on, I am going to make some more roof, uh, t some of the, some more of those tiles anyway. So the um, the carpenter's blocks, that's the word I was looking for, and we're going to get those kind of put in place so we can try and get a roof on, or at least make some headway in getting a roof on that building. Uh, and I'll be back in a second. All right, um, I've done a little bit of work on the roof, not a lot. Um, this thing is working a lot faster now. We've got extra power, so that's great. And uh, we are going to put on those. And again, look, I mean, we are pretty much keeping up, I think, there. That's keeping up, so pretty good. Uh, we've got this stuff. We've got enough to make an anvil and two tools. So that's going to be our target. And uh, let me just double check. Um, but that is going to be our target for the next episode because we're at time already. And uh, I'm also concerned that I do need to get these I need to go and get some, uh, I probably should go and take my scythe and try and get enough saplings. I'm not sure whether those trees are going to chop down at all, so um, that could be an issue. But those um, silkworms may have decimated any chance we've got of harvesting those trees as trees, um, which will be a pain in the backside if that's the case, because... Um, they're big trees. They're going to take a lot, a lot of getting down if we have to do them uh, without tree capitator. Well, you know, without the normal felling capabilities. But we definitely need to try and get a few. If I can just get even half a dozen saplings because i would guess it is not the end of the world but it's going to be a pain without them uh oh we got a few we got a few there's there's some uh we'll just have to see what we can get and then make a mad dash for i don't think we're going to get anything much damn it should have done this a lot earlier. Um, so, yeah, we will definitely... Oh, that's not going to help me either. Run, 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 run. Um, yeah, you're going to miss, 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 miss. Huh, right, now. Missed, oops, now, mister... See who's, yeah, 
You wish you had this bow. Um, okay. Well, definitely silk as silkworms have definitely wrecked us. Um, but I think that'll do us. Uh, so we have got the water mill set up, water wheel. That's going to help us along uh, with a lot of the things, but we're going to have to take a bit of effort to recover this tree farm, I think, at some point in the not too distant future. And uh, yeah, so reference don't use those leaf um, silkworms on great wood leaves. Um, I'm going to try them on another tree, see if they work on that one, but we'll do it with the smallest tree, just and one that's not likely to wreck us quite so hard when uh, when it fails. But next episode, we're going to have black steel. And once we've got black steel, uh, definitely a black steel axe, probably a black steel scythe for this time being as well, because I don't think we need to worry about anything else desperately. Um, probably do some more black steel stuff as well. But for now, thank you very much for watching, guys. And I will see you soon. Bye for now.